Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to be uh, tearing off this old... I, I can't think offhand what the name of this thing is, but it's a little strip on the bottom of the door supposed to keep the wind and bugs out and stuff. But as you can tell, half of it's missing. So, uh, it was screwed in with, I want to say four screws, but uh, as you can see in the video here, and uh, in the previous picture, it's pretty busted up, and some of the screws are missing and stuff. So yeah, that uh, it really wasn't accomplishing anything. So I pulled out the screws that were in there, uh, and then realized, oh wait, there was still one more. And even with this angle, and this is on the top of, uh, I think there's four stairs reaching to that. Um, you can just pretty much see, there's like an inch high gap. Now this door is getting replaced at some point in the hopefully near future. Which is why I'm doing a cheap fix instead of going out and actually buying a new stri uh, weather strip. Weather strip, I think that's what it's called. Instead of buying a new one that's actually rubber, I'm using some of this black brush material. And I, I'm i sure it's called something other than a brush. But basically it's um, like a nylon plastic kind of... Um, not really threads, but bristles on there. Uh, I actually picked this up out of the dumpster at my workplace. And uh, it works optimally for this. It covers up the gap. Now, it's not airtight like the rubber theoretically would be, which is fine. There is a storm door on the outside of this, which, of course, isn't a very good seal either. But uh, this definitely helped reduce a lot of the draftiness and um, it should keep out some of the dirt and hopefully bugs I guess we'll uh, we'll find out in time with it being uh, November at the time of filming uh, there's really not too many bugs climbing around outside so I'll probably just have to wait till spring to see if it actually works or not now, this was uh, a, it's not a transition strip, a threshold piece that I used. I cut it to width for the door, and now it has a, um, it's not, there's like an angle in it, so it's flat for some of it, and then there's maybe a 10 degree bend in it or so, and that, when I run the screws through it, kind of forces the um, the bottom portion of the metal to squish into those brushes to hold them in place, basically, which is obviously what I want because I don't want those just flopping around. And the screws I positioned to be actually applying some downward force to the metal strip that runs on the top or the bottom depending on how you look at it, of those brushes. So they are being pushed down to the floor, and when the door opens and closes, they actually uh, kind of act like a broom and sweep that area, which uh, I guess we'll see how that ends up working out. But like I said, this is going to get replaced hopefully sooner than later. And uh, at that point, I will have the actual, you know, weather stripping sweep whatever it's called down there um so yeah here is the the final product it looks beautiful it looks store-bought it looks amazing and to think it cost me nothing because the uh the aluminum strip there the previous owner had left behind uh, i'm not really sure what they were planning on ever using it for maybe they were going to put it on the back door on the ground I don't know, but they didn't use it, so I thought, well, hey, I'll go ahead and I'll use it, and I'll make it work, and uh, so far, so good. Of course, I've only opened the door like three times since then, but uh, no issues, so thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.